this service if any of you care to take a trowel full of dirt and close the grave that would be very appropriate all right in the midst of life we are in death of whom may we seek for succor but of thee O Lord who for our sins are justly displeased Yet, O Lord God most holy, O Lord most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the pit bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayers. But spare us, Lord most holy, O God most mighty, O holy and merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal, Suffer us not at our last hour through any pains of death to fall from thee. Sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our brother Jim, and we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious unto him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and forever and ever. Amen. O Almighty God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, who by a voice from heaven did proclaim, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Multiply, we beseech thee, to those who rest in Jesus the manifold blessings of thy love, that the good work which thou didst begin in them may be made perfect unto us unto the day of Jesus Christ. And of thy mercy, O Heavenly Father, grant that we, who now serve thee on earth, may at last together with them be partakers of the inheritance in the saints of light, for the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, we yield unto thee most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all thy saints, who have been the choice vessels of thy grace and the lights of the world in their several generations, most humbly beseeching thee to give us grace so to follow the example of their steadfastness in thy faith and obedience to thy holy commandments that at the day of the general resurrection we with all those who are in the mystical body of thy son 
may be set on his right hand and hear that his most joyful voice, Come, ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Grant this, O Father, for the sake of the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, with whom do live the spirits of those who depart hence in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful after they are delivered from the burden of the flesh are in joy and felicity, we give thee hearty thanks for the good examples of all those thy servants who, having finished their course in faith, do now rest from their labors. And we beseech thee that we, with all those who are departed in the true faith of thy holy name, may have our perfect consummation and bliss, both in body and soul, in thy eternal and everlasting glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Remember thy servant, O Lord, according to the favor which thou bearest unto thy people, and grant that increasing in knowledge and love of thee, he may go from strength to strength in the life of perfect service in thy heavenly kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in whose hands are the living and the dead, we give thee thanks for all thy servants, who have laid down their lives in the service of our country. Grant to them thy mercy and the light of thy presence, and give us such a lively sense of thy righteousness will, that the work which thou hast begun in them may be perfected through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, whose days are without end and whose mercies cannot be numbered, make us, we beseech thee, deeply sensible of the shortness and uncertainty of life, and let thy Holy Spirit lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days, that when we shall have served thee in our generation, we may be gathered unto our fathers, having the testimony of a good conscience, in the communion of the Catholic Church, in the confidence of a certain faith, in the comfort of a reasonable religion and holy hope. In favor with thee, O God, and in perfect charity with the world, all of which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, the King of saints, we praise and magnify thy holy name for all thy servants who have finished their course in faith and fear, for the Blessed Virgin Mary, for the holy patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and for all other thy righteous servants, known to us and unknown. And we beseech thee that, encouraged by their examples, aided by their prayers, and strengthened by their fellowship, we may also be partakers of the inheritance of the same saints in life through the merits of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we pray thee to set thy passion cross in death between thy judgment and our souls, now and in the hour of our death. Give mercy and grace to the living, pardon and rest to the dead, to the Holy Church, peace and concord, and to us sinners, everlasting life, glory, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit livest and reignest, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father of mercies and giver of all comfort, deal graciously, we pray thee, with all those who mourn that casting every care on thee, they may know the consolation of thy love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rest eternal grant to him, O Lord. May his soul and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The peace of God, 
who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his work, well, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now go in peace. Thanks be to God.
better than this does. Oh, okay. I've heard this has pretty good lenses. In yeah. Are we posting that on yeah. YouTube? Yeah, I'll put it on YouTube and then I'll give Jeannie the link and then she can send it out to everybody okay. so you can access it. It's like our work around a live stream. Yeah. There's always an answer somewhere along the way. But thank you for doing that. Yeah. Very cool.
<laughs> we get a lot of those every day. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be when we first moved, we moved here in the